hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we're back at it again today with another video uh today's video is more of a sit down let's talk type of video explaining to you guys where how i've got into where i am today what started this journey guys i was a christian i was born a christian my whole family is christian well the ones that i do know of and you know when I was growing up, I remember we used to go to, you know, Sunday schools and, you know, like there was this, I don't remember the name properly, but we used to always go to this place where, you know, we just, our focus would just be on God, like a group of people, like a lot of us would just go on like, it's, it's not a vacation, but it's like, a, let's say, maybe let's say a church camp, we'll all just go, our main focus was to pray get to know the bible learn and all that stuff and of course at that time i was very young and i remember like we were just in like little children's groups and we'd just be learning sometimes it can even involve like acting and you know trying to put into play what has what we've read and all that stuff it was really fun i'm just having flashbacks it was really fun it was really nice i really do do miss that i do but um you know, then we came over here and, you know, my relationship with God was still going strong. I used to go to church and everything. And I remember when I started working, I used to always tell my employer, listen, I have to go to work on Sundays. Like they will always, always, always try to get me in on Sundays at a time that they wanted. But I said no, because I valued my relationship with God. I valued going to church. Yes, at times, there were times whereby I didn't feel like going to church anymore. I was just so tired. I'm just like, oh, okay, this is becoming too repetitive. I'm tired of it. I didn't like the church that I was going to. Um during that whole period of time it was more of like it wasn't a choice to go to church it was more forced like okay every sunday it was a routine let me say it was a routine get up go go um go to church go work but then it got to a point whereby i was like you know what i do want to get to know god myself so i started doing research i started learning about god and you know, I believed in my Bible. I was reading. I was praying. Guys, when I say I was putting so much effort in to get to know God and everything. And honestly, right now, it kind of feels like I did all that for what? You know, I did all that for what to then come and then be confused. Like, what was the whole point? <laughs> don't want to cry. I was like, well, now I kind of feel like what was the whole point of all the effort that I put in? Um, I don't want to cry. But, um... Yeah, so I really, I really, really, really did put, <laughs> makes me upset because I'm just, I'm just remembering the effort, the effort that I put in, but um, I'm just remembering the efforts that I put in, but um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I put, guys, I did, I really did put in a lot of effort. But at the time, I wasn't exploring any other religion. I was just mainly focusing on Christianity, reading, especially reading, praying. And, you know, I even got to a point where I was like, I chose to fast and everything. Like, it was so amazing. Honestly, it was. But um, I remember during, I think, last year's summer. Um, if I'm not wrong, I believe last year summer, um, I used to watch this famous YouTuber. Unfortunately, she passed away. Um, yeah, and honestly, at that time, it got me thinking a lot about just life. And because it was like, I'm seeing her one minute and the next minute she's dead. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what the hell? This is so crazy. You know, our loved ones can be here any minute and the next minute they can be gone. So that got me thinking a lot. And I remember having a conversation with, you know, two friends. One was Muslim, one was Christian. And we were just talking about life and everything. And the Muslim said, you know, the reason why we're here is to serve God. And honestly, guys, that, that has stuck with me ever since. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, that's crazy. You know? I never thought of God in that way. You know, I've always thought, oh, yes, like, to get to the afterlife. 
and all that but i've never thought oh we are here to please god like every action everything that we do it, we should be doing to please god so that we can get to the afterlife to do the things that god wants us to do so when he when they said that, i was like oh my gosh wow and ever since then it's stuck with me so one of the things that i remember always having to pray about was literally to god god please increase my faith please, please increase my belief in you and i always used to pray that every single day i made sure to include it because i was like you know i don't want to put in all this effort and get to a stage where that whereby i don't believe in god like i i was really really praying to god god please always help me to guide me and to increase my faith in you and you know all those stuff and i remember a couple of months ago um you know I don't know what happened but i was just down i was no longer myself i wasn't the cc that i used to pray i wasn't reading like i just had this low energy for god now and i don't know what happened i don't know if it's because i became too busy in life you know i just i was no longer you know getting to know god so i was very down at that time and I remember having a conversation with a couple of months after that with my with a group of friend with a friend, sorry. And after that conversation, it just got me thinking, and it got me like, what am I doing? Why am I here? It got me. St it, I started questioning everything, and it's like, from there, I'm just like. I don't know what this life is anymore. You know, I at times I'm like, why has God put me in this position? You know, this difficult position. But, um, yeah, so I had a conversation. And from that, I just became confused. I just, I didn't know what I'm going to take anymore. Yes, guys, the conversation with the friend was, you know, it was encouragement. It wasn't something, because the person noticed that, you know, my be not necessarily my belief but you know how i used to pray and how i used to read was no longer the same you know i was no longer praying like how i was used to i was i was no longer praying how like how i used to and i was no longer reading you know minimum effort on my side to get to know god and um so the person i believe noticed that and you know had a conversation with me and you know tried to encourage me to build my relationship with god and i remember at the time i was so hurt i was like why why are you doing this now you know why but um i let it go a little bit <laughs> i let it go a little bit but um after that conversation i started having encounters and i was like I remember there was a time in Morrison's, like a local supermarket, and I was just coming down from the car park, and I see the security guard praying. Guys, he was praying on a cardboard. <laughs> like, I was like, like literally, he was praying on a cardboard, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is the level of dedication I want to have towards my religion. You know, I've, I've always admired the strict aspect of Islam because I love the way everything is just structured. You know, at a certain time, you need to pray. You know, we don't have that in Christianity, and that's one thing I kind of struggled with as well because, you know, I have to, like figure out what time i'm going to pray figure out basically figure out everything sort of whereas i feel like with islam everything is sort of structured for you so at the same time you pray all those stuff i really enjoyed it i enjoyed the strict aspects you know i might be saying this now but if um i get to the point of reverting Am I not? Am I not like it? But um, that's honestly the straight aspect is something I've always admired because with the person I've always seen how the person is dedicated to the religion, and I felt like I I have always wanted to be dedicated to Christianity, but I struggled so hard. It's so hard because I I don't have that guidance. You know, I don't have that guidance saying that, oh, at this time or at this hour or whatever, you know, this is what you should be doing with your time and all that stuff. And I just love that aspect from Islam. 
and so when i saw the security i was like oh my gosh this is the level of dedication i want to have towards my religion i love guys honestly it touched my heart i loved it i was like wow this is insane this is insane so that was one encounter that i had guys i had other encounters but unfortunately i don't remember them you know i i no i don't remember them no but i do remember that you know there were things that were like okay 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 like slow down type of things like, okay like this is just too much now but unfortunately i don't remember them but um a couple of months after that or weeks after that i was working in central with the person i had a conversation with and you know i was like to that person at at the time like i was looking for a quran um so i was like I want this person to buy me my first Quran because I wanted it to be like a memory. I was like, you know, if you buy my first Quran, I'm gonna always remember it, like, and everything. But um, I felt like it would be more. I would value it even more coming from the person. But um, yeah, I was like, I remember we were walking in Central, and literally just a couple of minutes before this incident occurred, I was like to this person. You know you've introduced me to islam and i would like for you to buy me my first quran and the person agreed and you know wanted to but what happened <laughs> we're just walking and then we see people a person selling the quran not selling but like giving it out and i was like what is this why is this person here giving out Qurans like guys it was so crazy like literally I don't know how else to explain it to get for you guys to understand how how crazy it was like literally just a couple of minutes before I was like you know I would like for you to buy my first Quran and then literally straight after that you see someone giving out Qurans and I'm like is this a sign I remember prior to this I was praying to God God please guide me please provide me with a sign that i can understand a sign that you know this is your word a sign that you know you want they, just guide me that is what i wanted i want i was praying to god to just provide me with a guidance that i can see and i can say yes this is a sign from god 100 percent. and this is the action that i need to take and this is the way i need to take in my life and guys honestly so we went to the person you know i was shy so the um the other person spoke to the guy and you know i got my first quran and guys i'll show you at the end of the video um where it is honestly guys when when i first started reading it you know i i enjoyed it you know i enjoyed it but one thing that i did notice is that it didn't start off with the creation and everything like the bible does it was sort of talking about disbelievers and i'm like what is all this like is this sign like i don't know up to now guys i still don't know because i feel like if it was a sign that sign is not clear enough to me like it's cloudy you know it's not clear it's not a clear sign but um yeah so i started reading it and i i was enjoying it i found it very easy to navigate through you know of course like i didn't know what sewer men and all that stuff so i had to go and research and it meant half time and all that stuff and yeah like Whereas compared to um, the Bible, when I first started reading it, I remember there was a point I wish, oh guys, I wish I know today. I really do wish I know today. There was a point where I, I was reading through the Gospels, right? And I was like, okay, this was saying something and the other gospel said another thing. And then I highlighted this. I remember like before, before, before. I highlighted this to the person. And I was like, you know, like, it's weird. It is weird because like, now I, I was like mm, i was like nah like it wasn't a thing where i was like questioning no i wasn't questioning i was just reading that is all i was doing i wasn't questioning and i feel like that is one mistake that i did from the very beginning instead of me to read and to question and try to understand i was just reading for the sake of reading i remember you know when i was reading as well i would want to memorize i used to repeat myself i used to always especially things that i wanted to remember right i used to write it down and i used to say over and over 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 to myself and that is what i was doing and um yeah and guys this is my quran and guys i'm reading it from the front i've heard that reading it from the back is much easier because it has less um chapters for you to memorize 
but for me for me to understand it fully i feel like i need to start reading it from the beginning which i have already started i need to start reading from the beginning and yeah although it is lengthy in the beginning like the chapters are quite lengthy it i, I don't really mind i'd rather do that because i feel like it will help me to understand everything in chronological order compared to then reading it from the back um i'm not really sure if that makes a difference but all i know is that people read from the back because they find it a little bit more easier to memorize but for me i'm reading it from the front and this is my bible this is my bible i've had a few bibles over the years honestly but um i really like this one because it's highlighted i could see you know well um like it can highlight what's the word like topics yeah so it highlights topics and that is one thing that i did like about this but um yeah right now these are the two things that are you know <laughs> taking me through this journey so yeah honestly guys it's you know it's taking such just a little talk for me to start questioning what my belief and everything it's like you don't need something so massive to happen in your life in order for you to then question you know what direction you're taking what you believe in and all these things it just takes something very very little very very little and guys right now um i i've been listening to the quran right now my favorite um I really like Surah Maryam and I also like Surah Yasin. Those are my two favorite um, cha uh, uh, yeah, chapters so far. Not favorite chapters, but favorite recitations. And yes, yeah, so I really like that. Um, uh, and also, you know, I've been researching on topics that, you know, I want to brush my knowledge on. For example, the Trinity, um, the crucifixion of Jesus. I'm trying this method where every week I try to learn about a particular a particular topic that I have questions on. So that is what I'm sort of doing right now. And you know, it's 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 not easy. It's not easy, especially talking about the trin about the crucifixion of Jesus. That is very hard for me to brush my not to brush around because, you know, I believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins, and then Islam is that muslims believe that he did not die for sins rather he was replaced so those are very two different beliefs so honestly guys right now i'm just praying to go to just guide me you know i've gone to the point whereby i just don't want to focus on islam alone no um i want to understand both religions christianity and islam and all I pray to God is literally just to guide me. You know, I don't care which uh, religion the truth lies as long as he provides me with the truth. That is all I keep asking God. I ask God, just provide me with the truth. I don't care if it's in Christianity. I don't care if it's in Islam. I don't care as long as it is your word. As long as it is your word. And that is, guys, that is literally all I pray for. Just God's word. I do not care about the religion aspect, whether it's Islam, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Judaism, whatever it, it may be. As long as it is God's word, I am willing to follow. And I keep asking God, just provide me with a sign. Just a sign that I can understand. A sign that I can see and I can say, yes, this is God's word. That is all I've been asking God. Literally, that is all I've been asking God. Just provide me with a sign of your truth, of your word. I don't, irrespective of whatever umbrella it may fall upon. I don't care. I, not, I just want the truth. That is all I want. And at times I sit back and I'm like, God, why have you put me in such a difficult position? But, you know, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good for me to question God. All I can do is just, you know, be patient, be calm. But, guys, I, it's been months. It's been months. And I still haven't received an answer. I still haven't received an answer. And that is what gets to me at times. Because it's like, God, why are you taking so long with me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Am I not doing something right? Like, <sighs> don't want to cry. Don't want to cry. Don't cry. But, um... 
yeah i'm just like god like what's going on why are you not providing me with my with an answer literally all i'm asking is just <laughs> honestly at times it's quite overwhelming because i'm like god why are you not providing me with an answer you know i've been waiting i've been praying you know and i see you guys telling me oh try and pray at a particular time guys i do i'm always up like i stay up late so i do you know but you guys tell me around one o'clock two o'clock three a.m you know try and pray around that time guys i do i do do you and i still haven't received that as well. and i always tell god please just provide me the truth sooner than later i don't want to die without knowing and without you know accepting that's one thing as well accept i don't want to just know i want to know and then accept it you know it's what one thing is knowing and one thing is accepting the truth and that's the thing i want to accept and i want god to just provide me with something just something i can see and i can say yes this is a sign from god 100 percent. but um yeah <laughs> anyways guys um i would love to do a q and a if you guys have any questions that you like for me to answer please leave it in the comment section down below and i'll do a video on all the questions that you guys have asked and yeah thank you all so much for your support and your words of encouragement trying to you know build build me up trying to provide me with knowledge trying to help me th through this journey i am so so grateful for each and every single one of you i am so thankful as well for you guys you know some of you guys told me that you guys pray for me and i'm so grateful you guys don't even understand like do you know how amazing it is for someone to pray for you <laughs> it's honestly just so amazing so i'm very very grateful for that and i'm so thankful and honestly guys i'm just praying for god to just provide me for guidance just guide me oh lord please 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 but um yeah that's all i have for you guys today i thank you all so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys